everybody, welcome at CNC machining tutorial. The fact that I am on a vacation doesn't mean that I will not create a new video for you. So this one is gonna be about Composoli sequence. Here it is, check it out. I use the Composoli sequence if I want to load a tool in desired order, for example with the louver. Okay, and now how to do the Composoli sequence, for example if you have a louver, so you have to punch punch the holes or uh, do the processing in the desired order so uh, once uh, the part has been loaded the processing has been done so you have to do the composer sequence so it's under the technology there is this button the composer sequence and now go set so I, you can go like this that you pick one tool at the one time. As you see, the first stroke is blue, last stroke is blue. So as I showed you, you can go one by one, or you can just do the window and drag it, and it's gonna be in the way how you drag the window. So from the bottom to the top. See the arrow? If you would do that in the opposite way, it's in the opposite way. Yeah, so be careful about the direction. So you can go like this, as I showed you, or just drag the window. Okay, and that's it, that's your composer sequence. So this is gonna be first stroke, it goes up, then the bottom goes up, the bottom goes up, and this is the last stroke. Once you're happy with your composer sequence, just hit OK and the processing of this tool is going to be exactly in this order. So once again, so composer sequence, drag the window, keep on mind that the window has to include the center line of the tool. This, that's the center line. If I wouldn't include the center line into the window, the processing is not gonna be loaded, you see? It just doesn't catch it. The center line of the tool has to be in the window. Okay, so that's it. Hit OK. You can do the composer sequence at every, every tool which is in the program. So the composer sequence is a really cool option. Play around with that and learn how to use it. Okay guys, there is one more thing I want to show you. Once your processing has been, uh, has been uh, selected, so you're happy with the processing like laser cutting and punching and stuff. If your sheet has 120 inches, uh, in the X direction and obviously according to, um, as you can see in the processing, your machine has the laser cutting head and the punching head and you want to do some comp composer sequence, you have to deal with the repositioning somehow. So I do it in the way like um, I create the automatic repositioning and now you can see that these parts became blue, so it means that you have to divide the uh, composer sequence in two different composer sequences. So the first one is gonna be for the uh, blue parts and the other is gonna be for the green parts. Okay, so it's one, two, three rows of the, of the parts. So I go to optimize, repositioning, delete the repositioning what I created before. And now Let's say I want to do the composer sequence just for the first uh, the three rows of the parts, and for some I have some reason I want to do the composer sequence in the in this square tool. Yeah, so you can do it in this way, like clicking one by one. And in a while, I'll show you how to do it faster. Okay, anyway, like that. So the one, one composer sequence has been created. I have to acknowledge by OK. Now I can go to repositioning, do the repositioning. 
and now I can do the composite sequence for the rest of the part. You cannot do it like entire sheet at one shot. It's not gonna work because the composite sequence cannot be t cannot be split by the by the repositioning. Yeah, so that's why you have to create two different ones. And because there is plenty of parts, I don't want to click like uh, one two one stroke at each time. So I will select the tool. I want to load the composer sequence for. That's the square 75. As you see, it's selected here. And here, because you know, if I do the composer sequence, so I can do it in this way. And you see, the composer sequence also include the round hole, the oblong hole. That's what I don't want to. I want the se composer sequence for the square tool. So I do it in the way like I select the tool and I highlight, I use this button for, and now the active tool which is shown on the sheet is just this one which I want to use for the composer sequence. And now I can go to composer sequence and draw the window and I really doesn't have to be worry about that the composer sequence will catch another another processing another tool. Yeah, so it is like this. Okay, hit OK. So now I have nice composer sequences for both parts. So let's finish the the program. So the repositioning has been created. So I do just. Uh, the tool sequence I want for I have some reason I want to use the square as a first so I go before highlight the square and highlight the tool which I want to place the square in front of okay so it's like this hit OK okay and now I can see in the NC program simulation yeah, see, this is our compulsory sequence. Speed it up a little bit. Yeah, it is showing just uh, the square because I didn't undo, like, disable this button. So if you want to see all the processing, so it's like this. Now the square round and so on okay so this is it that's the composer sequence if the sheet it's like 120 inches long so let me check yeah if the sheet is 100 inches and longer and you want to do the composer sequence you have to split the composer sequence on two different on two different composer sequences like one is before repositioning and the other is after repositioning okay so that's it thank you for watching i hope that this information is going to be helpful for you